presentation, we will look at locating the thoracolumbar joint. Location of the equine thoracolumbar joint is an important skill for saddle fitters and for those who check saddle fit. The thoracolumbar joint is the soft tissue segment between the last thoracic vertebra to which the last rib is attached. That is this region here. Last ribs first lumbar, thoracolumbar. And this junction marks the point where two very different sections of the equine spine meet and where the function of these sections also differs. So this is very different to this structure. It would appear to represent a rotating pivot point for the front and hind limbs because the front limbs attach in this region and the hind limbs attach in this region. Academic agreement has not been reached as to the injury risk to this structure if loaded with a saddle and rider. And it must be accurately located for saddle fitting because the industry standard is to avoid loading the panels of the saddle and the rider weight over it. The panels should only load over the region of the longissimus dorsi muscle and associated musculature, which is here. The safe loading point for the thoracolumbar joint is not obvious. If the rider sits centrally in the saddle and avoids loading the back of the cantle, then their weight more vertically loads the centre of the saddle. If they sit to the back of the cantle, leaning their lower body against it, then they would load here, so more in this region. And whether the tree is flat or curved will have some bearing on this. Many newer designs, especially for horses with shorter backs, have curved panels, so the panel would sweep up away from the back rather than make contact with it at the very back. And the seat would overhang that. So you may have a seat finishing here and a panel that finishes here. But you'd have to consider the horse, saddle and rider as a combination before deciding whether or not heavy riders should have this modification available to them. And is the thoracolumbar joint still loaded even if the rider floats over it? As in this saddle, the blocks can extend beyond the end of the saddle for rider stability. But these can cause problems if they're close to the thoracolumbar joint. And the saddle panels should load down across the rib cage. And horses appear to work better when the rider is loading this way down their legs rather than chair seat on the back of the saddle. And the thoracolumbar region must be very carefully located. Locating the thoracolumbar joint so as to avoid it is relatively simple if you take the time to clarify the anatomy of this region. And the ribs curve in a caudal direction 
So if this is the left side of the horse, the near side, this is the last rib, it curves towards the back of the horse. If you divide the vertebra into two, the joint lies in the cranial half or the front half of the corresponding vertebra. So from here, drop a line down to here. That's the joint in relation to the vertebra. This joint is not palpable in horses with a condition score above zero. And it's worth noting at this point that the ribs form a long lever with that joint. So could be easy to have too much movement or too much range of motion here, even though it's slight, it could be painful. We don't know the true biomechanics of the rib joints because they are rarely considered as a therapeutic concern, despite them being weighted by a saddle and a rider. Let's look at two techniques to locate the thoracolumbar joint. First palpate the longissimus dorsi muscle by sweeping down from the dorsal spinous processes to the point where the ribs can be felt emerging from that region. So along here you'll start to feel the ribs. And this can be felt as a bony ridge at the lateral border here of longissimus dorsi. Secondly, palpate the line of the curve of the last rib. And you really need to get in behind it there so that you know you've got it. Thirdly, continue up with your hand against the rib and follow the line towards the spine. Here. Yeah. So with your curve, follow the curve up. Fourthly, when your hand is close to the spine, trace the bumps of the dorsal spinous processes. These are what you would be palpating. Step five, palpate the outlines of the individual dorsal spinous processes as they approach the line of where the last rib has been identified. So just run your finger along here. Stopping where the last rib has been identified. And the most caudal vertebra with the last rib attachment will be the bump closest to your little finger and is represented by the red line in the image. And with the thoracolumbar joint superimposed on the horse's back in this image, and with each apparent indentation along the top of the spine in this image, you will see the thoracolumbar segment lies just behind the line of the last rib. So here, it lies here. That is the thoracolumbar joint with the transverse process of the first lumbar and the rib of the last thoracic vertebra. And the indentations are the gaps between the dorsal spinous processes. So here, that's a gap and that's a gap. And the safe loading point is therefore where the fingers point to. So if you mark the safe loading point over the ribs as being here, then you will be clear of the thoracolumbar joint. This takes some practice and is not readily palpable in all horses. So it's advisable to check with your veterinarian while you develop your confidence in locating this region accurately. And let's see how this is done in a short video. 
So you locate the last rib, it scoops in. Here's another angle and you can see that it's an oblique line tracing the vertebra. There's a dip there and that is where the, the last vertebra is and that's the safe region. Some fitters rely on coat direction to indicate the thoracolumbar joint, but whilst this technique may not be as reliable as following the last rib, it's well worth comparing the two findings, as the same point on the spine is typically arrived at for both tests. Again, to be sure, you will need to have your result confirmed by a vet. So the coat, if you look carefully, is sweeping down in this direction caudally for the thoracics and cranially for the lumbers and there comes a point sort of in the middle where you can see where they converge then you just trace the line straight upwards and you should come to the same point that you came to if you were to palpate the last rib. In the next presentation we will explore condition scoring.